All right, you ready, man? I'm ready, brother. All right, three, two, one, go. Top Voices Podcast, best podcast in the world, brought to you by Spearshot, a.k.a. Isa, and brought to you by me, Nail, a.k.a. Nail. What's up, Isa? I'm good, brother. How you doing, Nail? I'm doing good, man. Episode three. The time is flying. It has been three weeks already since our first episode. Really? It feels like it's been longer. Well... We did uh, one per uh, we, we did yeah, one per yeah. week, right? Or no, two weeks? Or was it? I can't count. Basically, whenever, some whenever, Sunday. some Sundays. Yeah, I mean the first video video was on a Tuesday, anyways. So yeah, yeah. Mm. How you been feeling, man? How you been feeling before we get started, I'm good, brother? I'm good. You know what? I'm ready for some fancy topics today. You ain't ready for some fancy like, topics? You have fancy ones. I have some interesting ones. I'm, I'm I want to get disgusting <laughs> uh i don't know about disgusting but i have i yeah, think exactly. I, have a, I have a super simple one that people all like relate it's like a qu classic okay. question all right mm -hmm. so i've i've been on the internet way more than you i've been on twitter may, way more than you that's what i mean by that yeah probably yeah, yeah. okay yeah. sure sure basically i have been where the drama is okay and uh -huh. on Twitter, what you see is many messages from men and women where they talk about dating and, you know, relationships or the opposite gender or what women should be doing, what men should be doing. And it all, at the end of the day, boils down to that same question every single time. And that question is, who should be paying on the first date or in a relationship in general? You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, before yeah. before we give our thoughts, this mm. isn't some male before anything anyone starts, you know, assuming shit. This isn't like a alpha male position or a super liberal position. There is extremes at both points. You see mm. the guys on Twitter be like, well, if she wants equality, rah, 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 you know, they do that. <laughs> and... And the, accurate, and the women are like, I don't, you know, I mean, some women are like, I want to pay. Some women uh -huh. say that. And some I women mean, want and some women want to be taken care of. So there is a <laughs> wide range of opinions. And now we begin with yours, Isa. Go ahead. It's up to the individual, right? Okay. So for me personally, me and you might differ yeah. on this. I'm going to pay 100%. I don't care if someone died, I'm paying. <laughs> what do you mean someone There's died? no exception. There's no exception. I don't like the idea that I'm taking a woman out and she has to like think about how much this food's going to cost or how much this is going to cost. I just like her to enjoy herself and I'll pay. Right. If I'm not in a position where I can pay, I wouldn't go out with a woman. Right. If we do go out, it's not going to be fine dining or something fancy. It's going to be something where it's like inexpensive, basically. Nando's. No, yeah, Nando's I mean, walking Nan around something. Actually, Nando's but is actually quite expensive. Na Nando's is average. It's average. Yeah, okay. I mean, for fast food, everything is, in London is expensive. Dude. That is true. That is true. But do you mean just on the day? Do you mean the first both, day? Both, do you mean both, both, both. Dates? Do both. you mean the rent? Anything, anything, bro. First just... day, I'm always gonna pay. Right, I Every would agree. Every day, I'm always gonna pay. But if she wants to down the line, like go to somewhere fancy, no, but I just don't feel right letting her pay now. <laughs> I can't, like I can't bring myself to do it. I genuinely can't. I can't, I can't. Maybe that's an ego thing from me, but I, I don't mean, care. If she really, if okay, so here's my opinion. Um, I would, especially at the beginning of a relationship, always pay. Mm -hmm. Especially because in my philosophy, I would always be like, you know, that, you know, some people say, oh, who should be paying for the date? And some really smart ass people go, well, whoever asked for the whoever date, yeah, yeah. which is stupid because in a right world, in my opinion, the guy should always be asking, which means the guy has to always pay on the first date. OK, mm -hmm. so I would definitely, especially at the beginning of a relationship, pay for everything. Obviously that I can afford if she comes with 10 Louis bags and I cannot sell my house. <laughs> you know, that's that's not the case. That's I'm not, like, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna start like credit or something. But um Yeah, I would agree with you. I feel especially on the first date, I would get sick. Imagine you are you're on a date, Isa. You both had a great time, lovely mm -hmm. time, and the bill comes around 
and you like you know because if the bill comes around you have to split the bill then the waiter stands there like a dickhead he's calculating well uh you had the what what sir what did you have pasta and the water okay what did you have madam okay for you it's uh, uh, 23 45 oh, and, for, no, 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 bro, and then bro, bro, you bro. give him your card she bro. gives her him cash it's the cringiest listen bro. i'm a i'm a guy and my pussy dries up okay i'm a dude <laughs> it is not you cannot do that on the first date you can't do that if you no, do bro. it you might as well just leave her again like it's am i that level of like awkwardness and it is so did you awkward. order the lamb or the <laughs> Wait a second, let me see the receipt again, please. And like, you're doing all of that, bro. No, no, yeah. I got orange juice. This was £2.50. You got, like, doing all of that, bro. Yeah, it's no, not. No, it's, no, no, it is no, no, so no. bad. It is I really bad. I can't, I can't, I can't. It is really, that's, that's, really bad. The so, number one, the inconvenience and awkwardness is yeah. enough for me to just be like, bro, whatever, just pay the extra £50. Right, yeah. right. Or, or, at the very least, like, I don't know, Niall, bro. It it's, is cringy. I, in the I, beginning, I can't see a world where I'm not paying. I, I wouldn't agree with you when you say you always pay for everything. If I'm with a girl and we've been together for fucking six months, and she mm -hmm. has a job and I have my job, like, mm -hmm. and she wants to go out and buy some groceries, like, I don't, I like, why would like she has her own money? She can buy those. Like, if, if she if she's on her own, if she's on her own. Like, what is she going to do? Is she, yeah, she, she, she going to call you? Is she going to call right. you to wire her money every single time she's, she okay, wants but to? Okay, the thing, Nayib, if you're with her, would you let her, like, take her wallet no. out or not? No, no. That's what I'm saying. So if you're shopping with her for groceries, there's no way you're going to sit there and just let her take her wallet out and buy the groceries. You see no. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more of a thing from me. If she's on her own, I'm not going to call her up. Where are you? Okay, I'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. Like, that's ridiculous. But if I'm there, I'm not going to let her reach for her wallet. That's just the, how it is. Yeah. I'm just like that. I'm, I yeah. can't help it. Bro, listen, I, 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 I've, like I've, I, have, I have paid for girls that I wasn't even dating. Just because. I Remember my Aatrox stream? My my face reveal stream, sorry. Where oh, I, 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 where, where, which one? Where, yeah, I, yeah, where yeah. I had the, uh, where the, um, the, the makeup on and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A old girl slash a friend who's a girl uh, did that makeup for me, right? Mm -hmm. And we had to go buy some. And mm -hmm. uh, we, she, I basically showed her what we needed and she knew all the brands for the makeup and whatever. And she chose the products that we needed to paint my goddamn face, right? Mm -hmm. And on the way out, she also bought some makeup and stuff for herself that she wanted, right? But it, was all, but it was all together. Mm -hmm. And she pulled out her... I was like, no, I'll pay for all of it. Fuck it. She's like, but no, but that's only for me. I'm like, who cares? Buy it. The Red Bull and this yeah, fucking... Yeah. She bought some lipstick. I think it was like 20, 30 bucks. Fuck it. That was it. It wasn't lipstick. It was some beauty product. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But I just paid for it. Because I mean, she's doing you a favor, so that's yeah. Like... She's doing me a favor, so, and and it would the same goes back. Even though I'm not dating her at all, it is super cringy in my opinion. As I'm, I don't I don't want to sound like an alpha wannabe, but it's it's it just makes me feel like a bitch. It's not about I don't her. Think this has anything to do with being an alpha or being a bitch? Honestly, I think if a guy says I don't want to pay for a woman, where because there are some guys where they just get used, right? Right. So they'll No, I don't get used. I'm not getting used, but... I know you're not. I know you're not. But I'm just saying there are guys that are afraid they're being used. Yeah. And they'll say, I'm not paying for her unless mm. I know we're committed. Yeah. So they'll actually only start paying once they're in a relationship. Yeah, right. Because they don't want to take her fine dining and then have to pay for it. And then she just ends up ghosting them or something. And then again, if it was a 200 euro perfume from goddamn God knows what, I wouldn't pay for it. Oh, that's some, yeah, 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 that's they uncalled have, for. Yeah, yeah. But it was they like 20. Or whatever, it, it, and the guy's like, I'm not doing it unless we're committed. So I don't think it's an alpha or bitch thing. I think it's just. It's a gesture. It's, it's a gesture. It's just, bro, if I could, genuinely, genuinely, if I could feel okay letting her pay, I would. Mm hmm. Because I, I, I agree. 50 /50, I, I, agree. I just can't, bro. Yeah. It just doesn't work like that. I can't do it. I don't like you said. I don't like the inconvenience of the waiter coming around and says, "Do you want to split the bill or pay together?" And then you're like, you look over at her and, <laughs> well, you got starters. I didn't get any. And it's just like, bro, and you know, you know how girls are like fake looking through their bag, and there is nothing in there, just lipstick and a piece of paper, and they don't even no, have no, 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 no. they don't even have their wallets with them, and they just hope it's you're just, gonna it's, pay. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It they is like a, it's a meme. That you would pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and just... I forget that, dude. I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't think it has any, anything to do with being a bitch or being an alpha, though. I'm not even trying to be like... Um, I just feel like bad. I don't know. I don't know what feeling... It's not about though. really feeling like a bitch, but I just feel bad. I don't know why. I just feel yeah. bad. So, I don't know. Like... 
If it was a billionaire woman, I guess I wouldn't care. But we're all struggling. Okay, well, let, let me say a cute thing. We're all struggling, right? We're all struggling. And it, I think as guys, it's nice to make sure that g girls struggle a bit less when they're with us, right? We, we like, like you could say, especially in a relationship, that we would make the sacrifice. That she has more on her side and we yeah. just fucking pay for it. It's, it's why I'm more likely... Like, if you see... It doesn't even have to be your wife, bro. If you just see a woman and she's doing some hard labor, you feel bad. Let me take that off you. Right. It could be anything. Like, she's carrying some a heavy suitcase or some luggage or something. Right. Bro, you, you just... You're looking... And it's nothing to do with romantic... Holding nothing. the door for a grandma, you, you know? You just feel bad seeing that. Like, if I saw a grandpa... If I see a guy doing it, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, same, same. If, if it's a woman, I feel guilty. Like, I, <laughs> it's just... It's, it's not a good sight, man. It hurts. Yeah, you're right. I agree. If I saw a grandpa, like, walking, I wouldn't mind. If I saw a woman, I like a, like a grandma... No, no, old people as well. Old people as well, Diane. But the thing is, it depends on the demeanor. The thing is, the Austrian grandpas, they, they get scared when they see me coming. Okay, I respect you. You know? For some reason, the grandpas are, like, still kind of, you know, let me say in a nice way, suspicious of, let's say, browner people. Like different you and... Looking like, people. Different looking people. But the grandmas, I think, I feel like the grandmas used to be, like, a bit more, like, discriminatory when they were younger. But when grandmas get old, they love the... the, like the, the, <laughs> the bro, I, I worked in a retirement home. These Middle Eastern women, they loved me. The men, not so much. I don't know what happened. I mean, I think uh, the women are more yeah, open to change, I guess. I don't know. Maybe when they get older, yeah, sure, maybe. Because the guys, they don't change, man. They're the same what now since... Nayel paying the rent? Or paying, let's say, for a mortgage or a house? Would you want her to be paying half the rent? It depends on our circumstances. Do we have kids? Let's say... No, no, before you have children. Let's say you both get paid the same exact amount. Right. Let's say two grand. Or roughly the same amount. Let's say both would, together four grand. Let's say. <clears throat> would you um, ask her to pay half the rent or would you pay 100% of it without asking? Like I said, it, I mean, so we both have jobs, right? Uh-huh. So I think for the rent, splitting it would make sense. Mm hmm because at the end of the day, okay, I'm going to pay the whole thing. Then I'm going to run out of money. And then she has to pay for me anyways, I guess, right? What if she says, though, Nayel, I don't want to be paying any of the rent? Well, then she would have to. I, because, like, I don't know. It depends how much living costs. Because I, if I have to pay the whole thing, I think I'm going to run out of money. And then I'm gonna sit there with my pockets turned inside out, and I'm I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some help, right? So I think splitting it from the beginning would be a bit smarter. Yeah. If we both work, no children. So it would be like a deal breaker for you if she said, "I'm not expected to pay any of the rent." No, I think it's a valid expectation, but I'm gonna be broke. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, that's we're gonna have a problem down the line because I think I'm not gonna be able to pay. So for you everything. think it's okay for her to say that? Except sure, she can have that expectation. It work it's not. It's not realistic if we both make the same. You know. Yeah. Now, if I made triple as much as her, then I get it, and then I would do it. No, the thing is, I'm saying the same because, you know, we're living in a society now. People are making basically the same amount of money, right? Sure, on Generally, average, on have, average. We have, a we have a different, it's a different subject for a different time, yeah? Yeah. But if we both work in the same place, in the same position, we'll be getting paid the same amount, right? Sure, sure. So what I'm saying is, in today's age, people are getting paid roughly the same, right? But, right. Bro, I'm going to get hated in the comments. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Just get, let me get my point across. <laughs> so, do you know what I'm saying? You get it. Right. You, people are getting paid roughly the same amount, right? What I'm saying is, in those situations where people are getting ro paid roughly the same amount, would it be okay for the woman to say, I'm not expect expected to pay anything. I don't want to be paying half. He should be paying for everything. I think that's a valid point. You like that? I don't like it, but I wouldn't like bash her for it. I mean, who, I if, that who, well, who, who, li who likes, who <laughs> likes, who likes losing money? No one likes it. <laughs> no, I don't like paying for anything. But if she wants me to pay for everything, it's not, it's not something that's never been seen before. It's not, it's not unreasonable from her. It's not unreasonable, but it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic, but it's not unreasonable. It's not exactly, yeah. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that one hundred percent. In that in that financial position where we both make the same, it doesn't really make sense for her to say that. But I get it. 
I, I, you I, get it. You I get, get it. it. Yeah. You get her expectations. Yeah. But, the, but she chose the wrong guy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. If, if, if we make the same, if because that's what you said, if we make the same, uh, she, she chose the wrong guy. Okay, so why do you think there's so many guys online now, yet yeah, that find that to be crazy? Like, they'll t they'll take personal insult to it if the, if the woman says, I expect you to pay all the rent. I feel like, honestly, I think, like, I don't know if if the whole Andrew Tate thing did that, that whole movement did that. Because if like he does sometimes say as well to like provide for women, I guess he does say that in a yeah. real in a in a kind of asshole way. He says that, um, you know Andrew Tate. He talks like as if okay, you have to take care of women because they can't take care of themselves. Something like that. You know, he's always like he's always having a bitchy undertone to it. He can't just be whole. <laughs> he cannot be wholesome about it. He has to make it polarizing so people would you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be alpha, you know, that's what he, he has like, to be at all told about it. Yeah, like, he can't yeah, just yeah. be nice about it. So yeah. he does say that kind of. But then again, I feel like with that whole alpha male movement, it branched off completely to just a bunch of women haters and to a bunch yeah, of like, like they, they call themselves traditionalists. They want a traditional woman. But they, yeah, they want a Yeah, they like I, I feel like the same guys that are annoyed about paying for women are the same guys that want a traditional woman. You know, but here's the thing: a traditional woman, it's an oxymoron. Yeah, it, man, and a traditional man is paying for everything. Yeah, exactly. It makes it no make sense. sense. Yeah, I, but I feel like the the these. I think they're also kids. I think they're like 16, 17 anyways on the internet. Of course, there are some incels online, I guess as well, like yeah. twenty six year olds or whatever. But I feel like many guys want a girl to basically be super exclusive only to them and oh she worships me and whatever but then they don't want to put in any work at all well I mean, and you want a woman to be exclusive to you well come on now nah, everyone wants that yeah sure but yeah I'm but like... but if you don't even take care of her then how you know yeah, yeah. This, how much this, this right to you thinking. do you have but here's the here's the problem yeah nah, i think honestly a lot of these guys are hopeless romantics yeah like they're genuinely romantic to the degree that they think or they want a woman to love them for nothing right for nothing yeah. just to love them just because well, who you, know, you are I work out and i'm handsome and that's it and then there's there's nothing there's no they don't have like to do anything attributes, and they expect that to be enough yeah and so if they're asked to pay for things i think for them it becomes um oh you want like me for my money reality it right. shatters the perception of romance mm. because now she's expecting money so now he's thinking wait why does she need money from me i love her regardless <laughs> Yeah, and he thinks his love should be, um, or well, that should be payment enough. No, no, like, like, yeah, that should be payment enough. But also, <coughs> his love for her should be the same love for him. But women and men love very differently. Yeah, you see what I'm saying here. Exactly. So he will love her whether she pays on the date or doesn't, or he will love her whether she makes a certain amount of money or doesn't. Doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. That's just how it is, right? Yeah. For the majority of men, that's how men love. Right. For the woman, though, she needs to. Varies, it varies. But she wants to feel like she's secure in the relationship. She wants to feel like the guy can provide for her. It's a different kind of love. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, more, it's, it's a sense so of security. Romantic. They want the love they're giving to be reciprocal, but to the T. Like, they want the exact same love they're giving to be the exact same love they get. But women and men are just a bit different. Like, they that. are. Like, what you can yeah. do. I think the romantics. Mm. Straight up. Haven't gotten their heart broken yet, or something like that. I don't know what it is. I they're just yeah. I don't maybe. know. I don't know, man. I'm a, like, I feel like a lot a lot of guys also talk about like, uh, yeah, I don't trust girls. They're all gold diggers, which is funny because none of these guys have any money to be gold digging or whatever you want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all? Like you know, some guys say that uh, if she if she wants me to pay on a date, is that all she's here with me for? Just yeah, yeah no, yeah. no. You that... see how they're a bit romantic like that though. It's stupid. It's dumb. They want to bond spiritually. Do you see what I'm saying? They're like so the, they are the girl. Matter. They are acting like the girl themselves. Nah, that's just a man's love, bro. It, I don't know, dude. Just pay for the Look thing, at... no? Just pay uh -huh. for it. Just pay for the fucking nuggets, Just bro. Just pay for it, but you need to see it from their perspective. From their perspective, it's like, why should I have to pay for this in order for you to love me? Because I love you regardless of whether you pay for this. I would pay because I am interested in that person. It makes me look good, no? 
I agree, but they don't see it. Like... Do you know what? I'm going to be honest now. Yeah? <laughs> I think they've been brainwashed. I, I don't know by who or by what. I don't know. But I can't pinpoint where society as a whole brainwashed them. Because honestly, I feel like we've got that innate... Um, like disposition is I don't know if I'm using the right word drive here, but the innate disposition to say no no I'm gonna take care of you yeah I feel like we have that no yeah. as men yeah we have that idea of no no I'm gonna take care of you right I right? didn't even have like, that many relationships woman, and I have if that. a woman struggling to get uh, a suitcase off the ground and she's like die and swear <sighs> bro you've got that innate the body like, your hey, body I'm walks on its own you just get drawn to that thing to to make to you, help you feel you feel like you need to right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i feel like that carries over also when paying on the date right it's like okay i'm gonna take care of you there is a burden coming and i'm gonna take it i'm gonna carry the burden exactly yes the, yes, the too yes, heavy yes, suitcase yes, yes. the holding open the door if, if she has her hands full and Dude. paying the the bill on a date that's coming you know no, I, i'll give you a perfect example go ahead yeah I used to work at a warehouse, okay, in a like under a train station. In, back in we Lebanon? To... No, no. <laughs> warehouse. In London, bro. God damn, in a warehouse. That's just slave you think labor. I was there like a sweatshop? <laughs> yeah. We didn't have those in Lebanon. Oh, okay. No, I was in London, right? There's an international like train station, and um, you basically push carts to get onto the train. They come in and out, and you change the carts and take them off. Some of the carts weigh 60 kg. Oh shit. And they push them, they have wheels. Everyone that got hired there, I was there for almost a year. Everyone that got hired, and including myself, we were all men. Mm -hmm. And if there, there were women, but they weren't the ones pushing the carts. There were women on like the shop floor. That's what you'd call it. And they would be packing the, the carts themselves, but they wouldn't be pushing them around. So basically, like, the, the, sorry, can I, can I ask a, a, like, a context? Those are these wagons they push through the train to like sell chips or whatever? So. Not that yeah, we would put those as well, but there are specific carts. So like the chef, the cook, he actually has stuff to use. So that there's pantry and there's plates and cups and knives. That's and forks. a fancy train. Yeah, yeah, the, the international trains. So oh, the, okay. You know, you know where Harry Potter ran into that wall. Yeah. And he teleported. That yeah. was the legit train station. King's that, Cross, that right? Huh? Is it King's Cross? King's Cross, yeah, yeah, King's Cross. Oh, okay, cool. All right, sorry. I would be loading all of those. And you'd be getting deliveries and you'd have to be running up like an incline because it's underground and it was all scuffed. Yeah. Everything was done so like, it was all just messed up. So you'd be running up on an incline with like four carts on this side, four carts, and I'm holding them like that running up. <laughs> Bro, when a woman would come to help, every guy would get up. They were like, no, 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 no just yeah, stop. Yeah, it's yeah. just how it is innately. Yeah. You, you just feel bad. Because even though the woman's trying to help, you just it's not even that we don't want her help, we just don't want anything to happen to her. And this is her, and this is we worldwide. Yeah. I was getting battered. A yeah. car would fall over, right? And like my knee would bear an awkward angle, and it's heavy, bro, it's 60 kg, so it just bends <laughs> over to your leg. It messes up your knee for the rest of the week. Like it, <laughs> it's it genuinely messed up work, right? They had like high staff turnover, so like people would always leave and come and leave and yeah, come. Yeah, sure, sure. It was it was heavy work. So you'd feel bad, and I'm telling you, you just have that innate like feeling of no, no, I don't want her to hurt herself, or I don't want to burden her. You see what I'm saying? Some women would be like, "Well, that's sexist of you because you assume she's gonna hurt herself." Well, how do you know she's gonna hurt herself, Isa? How do you know? It all goes back to the same thing, you know. Bro, if I'm getting called sexist for that, then like I'm sorry. Yeah, and the I'm thing is also you it's an innate thing, and you have to really work to get that out of your head. That's what I'm saying. I think they're brainwashed. And this is worldwide. Like, you could make the argument, well, this is the Western politics and society. It's worldwide. It's like this, the, way, the same way it's in China, the same way it's in Africa, the same way it's in, 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 in goddamn, I don't know, in, in India. Like, it's all the same everywhere. In South America, like, Australia, everyone, every, or not everyone, but like, I would say over 50% of all guys have that nature to them where they just want to, in some way or other, help out their woman or any woman it's not just about it you know you could also make it like well he only pays for the date you know to be at more attractive or to have sex with her but you know, there's these jokes am i gonna get late tonight no okay split the bill you know <laughs> you know that you know that one it's like a classic you get chatter, eh? it's not like got, <laughs> but yeah i feel like it is it is part of uh, i think the male's nature to some degree to some degree let's not get yeah, no, I agree. and the thing is you're saying it's global it is global and it's historically 
yeah. being global. So it's been like this since we can record. Bro, men built the Taj Mahal for one woman. Back in 1000. I don't even know what year that was. They built that gigantic temple. Yeah, that's beautiful. Men built all types of shit just for like women's validation or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit's wild, you know, and yeah, nowadays a lot of these well, opinions. What if I said that's because historically included and the world has always had this sort of like patriarchy where they always want to be in control and they never want to let women do anything. I mean, I think that just like if we go all the way back, like who were the hunters and who were the gatherers? Like, I think the women in the Stone Ages just couldn't jump on the saber tooth tiger because of fuck's jumping on saber tooth tigers, bro, bro. bro. One of our uh, great great uncles for sure did that shit. Nah, they, they're throwing a spear or something. No one's jumping on the saber tooth nah, tiger. Nah, my man. my great 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 grandpa was fucking choking them bitches out, man. Three hundred was... kg of muscle. With fucking fangs coming out of his face, bro. These Someone cavemen, grabbing, ah, ah, ah. bro. These no cavemen, way. bro. These cavemen were like, do you think they were heavy? Like our our ancestors? I think they would be like a hundred plus kg. So like units, no? We were like, like we just came from being monkeys. I feel like we were units back then. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But long story short, like, okay, yeah, yeah. like I think just like women's biological bodies aren't made for the 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 like you know the hunting down. A goddamn like we have higher lung capacity. Uh, I don't like the way you're describing this. Isa, we have higher lung capacity, correct? Yes. We can run and have more on oxygen average. in our blood. No, not on average, just like like biologically. Like a, a male. On average, yeah, but here's the thing. I say on average, I'll tell you why, Niall. Yeah. Because there's there's always gonna be some guy like actually I've got a cousin who deadlifts 300 kg and she benches 150. It's like all right. All right, oh, let's let's average. say let's say on average, okay. Yeah, Let, yeah, on yeah. average, men have a higher lung capacity, which means we can like have more oxygen in our blood, which means we are better at physical performance. So that's why ten thousand years ago, a hundred thousand years ago, I don't know when that was, we were the guys chasing down the giraffe. You know, we were the guys chasing down the fucking elephants, the chasing down and the, killing it, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the and the density, and the women the, the women did the things that they were good at. Which was making sure that the kids don't die. Because I'm telling you, if the guys looked for the kids, the kids would all die and we would be extinct. Because we suck. Okay, Nayib, I'm going to be honest with you. You're making a good point. We suck at that. We suck but at taking about, care of people. What about, Nayib, the people that actually get triggered by what you're saying? Well, I apologize, but I didn't make these people. I didn't make man and woman. I didn't make it. Is it is it not true? So what you're saying is, well, deal with it. It's a fact. So you yeah, think I'm you sorry. think you think in the Stone Ages, the the woman wanted to hunt as well, and the guy was like, no, 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 let me get my arm bitten off. I'ma do it. I'ma get my. <laughs> I'm gonna get my leg ripped off. I wanna do it. No, nobody wanted to do that shit. But the guys were the most fit for that job. I don't think there was a patriarchy in seventeen thousand. I, I also think Niall, it would break your heart if you see your wife coming out trying to chase after an antelope it doesn't even have to be a <laughs> rhino bro which like, is if you just see your wife like struggling panting like dying bro let me just go back home but I'll you know die. what you know what's interesting you said you know what's interesting in the animal kingdom for example lions the females do the hunting mm -hmm. so what the fuck is that now i'm sure people in the comments were going to use that as an argument well what about lions Okay, so with lions... I mean, the male lion is still stronger than the female one, I'm sure. The male lion is stronger and bigger than the female lion. You know, so with what is lions, that? With lions, they... The female lions will hunt prey that they can actually hunt. So they, they're not going to go after... Bro, they go they after everything. Go they, after go after they go after you. They go after... Basically, it is how it works. The female lions hunt. The male lion protects the female lions from other male lions. Right, right. And also, if there's a threat, like a bunch of hyenas start surrounding the pride, the male lion's going to defend the, uh, the pride. Right. But that being said, we're very similar to lions in that sense, to, to where um, this is why they say he's got the pride of a lion. We're not similar, like, as in the, uh, anatomically, mm -hmm. but we're similar, like, we, we want to be a bit of, like a lion. Like, men want to be a lion. He's got the pride of a lion. He's got the confidence of a lion. It's shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Like something about lions just hype us up. I mean, but obviously there's differences. 
Male lions do. Is. I watched a documentary, man. Male lions look lazy as fuck. These these women, like these lionesses, they go hunt like as five like like five girls. They hunt after like a buffalo. They get the shit kicked out of them by the fucking buffalo. And the lions are just it's just laying there, cr scratching There's his balls, one. doing jack shit. You know, so that's quite interesting. No watching. Yeah, yeah. it's just, but the thing is, that you, we, we, I guess lions are liberal. Tigers. They're solitary. They have sex with the woman and they leave anyway. The That's male true. tigers yeah. have sex and they leave and they let yeah. her raise the child on her own. It's yeah. like we can make comparisons with every animal, but it doesn't mean we're the same as them. It's everywhere is different, right? Every species. We is have like a lot a... of similarities to lions, but it doesn't mean we're the same as them. It's just how it is. No, I just I just mentioned it because I guess in other species there are different hierarchies. Of course, of course. I don't even know if you yeah. call it hierarchy, but basically, I guess. Um, uh, distribution, no, distribution of jobs is different. Yeah, 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 sure. I mean, women do I, most of stuff that guys do nowadays, except for the really extreme stuff. I haven't seen a woman underwater welder. You know, I haven't yeah, seen here's that. The, thing, the hard labor jobs, the things that are like heavy, intensive labor, manual labor, sorry. Yeah. It's still covered by guys predominantly. Yeah, yeah, 99%. Something like that. No, like um, some of them is really like 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 um, bricklayers is literally ninety nine point nine percent. Yeah, like, something like that. You know, like that is literally like, yeah. Uh, anything like indoor construction or construction workers, um, any just basically anything. That's Roofing, like shit like that. These Where are used to work at the warehouse. Yeah, window cleaners. Women were doing what we were doing. But then there again, were women working but, there, but they weren't doing like that. Anything that had like intensive labor. But then again, I think that's a good thing that women don't have to that, do that. I'm telling you, I'm saying this is why I'm saying like people have been brainwashed. If you're okay with just looking at a woman struggling to do a task, whatever it might be, and you're just staring at her, it's it's you're like you, it's something wrong with you. Something's happened where your brain's not functioning properly anymore. I'm just gonna say it. And I'm telling you, and it's not like that for men. Because when I showed up. Okay, I, I'm not going to go over everything. But when I showed up, I was doing it like a crackhead. I'm running back and forth, pushing carts. <laughs> and I didn't want any help. I'm like, don't help me. I'm running back and forth, pushing carts. And they didn't even... They were, Some people are like, yo, bro, help this guy out. Because I'm sweating out of my forehead. I don't know. <laughs> I was just running around. I didn't care. I'm running back and forth. But with me, it was different. It was more they wanted to help me out of respect more than it was like, I'm scared he's going to get injured. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They were in awe um, watching you. And I didn't want help. I genuinely yeah. didn't. I wanted to do it alone. And then they, they respected me a bit more for it. Right. But I feel like with a woman, if you're watching her running back and forth and she's sweating and she's panting, bro, I guess everyone's different, but I would just feel bad. I can't sit, her, sit there and let her do that. Everyone's different. I'm going to have to help. Let me ask you a question. How would you feel? Let's say you're old, you know, you're like in your mid thirties now and you have a kid, you know, you just had a kid and it's like a four year old. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you bring your kid to a modern day daycare and you walk in and it's a all male daycare with just like that like guys taking care of the kids. How would you feel? I, I'll be honest with you, Niall. I wouldn't let my child stay there. Nah, me neither. I'm going to think it's weird here. I agree. I think that is that's but because daycares are, I, I think, 90 percent women as well. The same way bricklayers are 99 percent. Where I think it's a good thing that women don't do it. And the same way women are 99% in daycares, which I also think is a very good thing that guys don't do that. Because that would open doors to sickos, pedophiles, and just like weird things. Okay, dudes. bro, take it easy now, man. If I was a pedophile, I'm becoming a daycare nurse. Okay, bro. Don't you think? Okay, okay, but, but now what, what about the guys in the daycares right now? How are they going to feel you saying this? Well, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm only talking to the guys in daycare. That guy who's just a normal guy. He's that's not fine. Religious, and he just likes working with kids. That's fine. You're still weird in my opinion, but that's fine. If you're, not, if you're not a pedophile and you don't have any ill intent when you're interacting with these kids, okay, that's fine. But I think it would open a lot of doors if we made it socially. Not socially, but like people, like especially politics, they try to push like no it's not even equality they just want to force them into jobs that they don't really give a fuck about you know like why would you want to force women into hard labor just because it's more men it makes no sense you know they want to make like uh, uh like becoming a fucking like uh, like uh, like, uh, like, uh, like like let's say window cleaner at uh, 500 meters heights or whatever these buildings are why would you yeah. push women into that job 
You know? What about the women that do want to work as that? Well, I don't they, think go, there are that many, bro. Well, the, the, the girls that want to do it can do it, of course. I, it's a free country, but, you know, why would you yeah. want to push? Let people do what they want to do. And, yeah, like, I don't think that these jobs, distributions, and these, like, roles that we have today is because we were forced into it. I think that's just what we chose, you know? Guys want to do. So you it. don't think it's because of societal pressures? You think it's because of nature? I, I think it's well, free. Naturally... I think it's free will. I think girls want to be nurses. No, why are they nurses then? And I think if if you became a nurse and you didn't like it, I think you have the freedom as a woman no. at this age to quit and become a bricklayer if you want to. Now here's the thing. I agree with you, but what about the people that say, "Nah, you learn." I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, they say that's because of societal pressures, and we're not naturally predisposed to that. It's just that society have made it so um, women are pushed out of, let, let's say, bricklaying or any sort of manual labor fields because it's not feminine. And then they're pushed into stuff like nursing, um, taking care of people, whatever it might be, um, because that is a feminine role. I'm part of the new generation. I have never heard anyone say that to anyone, especially in school. In school, it's always about... They did, in school, they didn't talk to us about... I don't know. I, I went to my own school. I don't know about your school. No one in school said, Okay, guys, all the boys, these are the jobs you can make. And all the girls, these are the jobs you can make. I feel like no one sure. said that. They, they said, hey, kids, whatever you want to be, you can become. Whatever you want to be one day. You, you want to be the president? Nice. Tommy wants to be a doctor? Nice. Timmy wants to be a mathematician? I mean, Timmy just flunked the test. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do. But, you know, like... And, okay. and I feel like the the girls back then even said, oh, I want to be a hairdresser. I want to be... I mean, some of them actually did say they want to be doctors. There are girls yeah. in a young age that say, my dad's a doctor. I want to be one as well. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. are girls that say that. Scientists, all, all of that. But There's definitely... Um, I feel like with doctors, anyone can become a doctor. Anyone now, can man. be a doctor, sure. But are we specifically <laughs> focusing on manual labor or are we focusing on like the stem fields i would say anything what can... because the stem fields like engineering science a lot of women are pushed away from that how is that i don't know if they're pushed but that's the argument right um because they, it's just not a feminine thing to do what do you mean and if a man wants to get into anything um like caring for someone or getting even doing something like psychology right mm -hmm. it's predominantly women mm-hmm in, in, in those like fields and in that degree. So a man, when he tries to get into it, his friends are probably gonna be like, oh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, bro? Yeah, what's those going are, on? These are dumb friends. But that's how it is though. That's how society is. And if a woman wants to do it, maybe her parents will look at her a certain way and be like, why would you want to do that? Why not just get into something? Like, why are you getting into engineering? But that's with anything, no? Like when we, when like, I mean, but that's we... what I'm saying. Those are the societal pressures that they'll make the argument that that's affecting um, youth growing up and women but that, but, that, but that's affecting it. anyone no like how many streaming careers do you think have been hindered because people told you that you're not go not gonna make it streaming you know i didn't have that in my life because i don't have anyone except for my family and my family yeah, but no one said no one said nah, you're a man you shouldn't be streaming or no one implied that do people really say like you're a man you shouldn't be a psychologist okay so think about it like this if i'm a woman and i want to start working at the warehouse i was working at yeah, the guys are gonna be dickheads. That yeah, yeah. No, but I might. Let, I'm probably less likely to get employed straight up. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah, that's true. Unless I got a big frame and I built a six foot woman, like maybe like that's different. But one number straight up, just realistically, I'm less likely to get employed. But also, if I tell my parents, oh, I'm working at a warehouse, or I tell anyone, my friends, I'm working at a warehouse, they're gonna be thinking, what the hell are you doing working at a warehouse as a woman? Yeah. You see what I mean? That is true. That is right. Yeah. No, you remember that 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 girl from earlier that made did my makeup. Mm -hmm. She worked in a, um, I don't know how to say it in English. They're basically working with metal and they're like, it's like one of those companies that basically produces any product that's made out of metal. You know, they have a all these company, something like that. They work with metal. Okay. And like they make, yeah. they build machines, all types of machines. Okay. It's like Siemens, you know, okay. Siemens, Siemens, S Siemens, Siemens. <laughs> You don't know that company? Well, that is S I E M E N S. S I E M. 
the viewers know what Siemens is, okay? Siemens is a company that, that basically produces anything. They make anything out of machines and metal, right? Okay, long story okay. short. That same girl that did my makeup, she worked in a company like that. And she quit, like, a couple of weeks ago just simply because she tells me stories about these male co-workers that just talk shit all the time about women. All the time. So that type of stuff still exists, especially in those... Um, ma manual labor jobs. The guys that work oh. in manual labor are still pretty dumb. Most of them, not most of them, but some of them. And not nah, honestly, I would say a lot of them just. Some of them can't speak the language that well. They're like literal uh, immigrants or foreigners. And then some. Yeah, I thought, I, it's, I just, it's just, it's just, it's just beer belly old guys, you know, like stuff like sometimes, that. Yeah, sometimes, and they talk ill, and talk. they did talk ill about my friend about you know her being on the job and my friend also had, like that is one of those jobs while she is like she's um doing the installments so if the company had a job in let's say czech republic she would drive to czech republic to the client and she would help build the thing right and mm -hmm. she would go there and the client like those the, those clients are like businessmen you know it's like a company yeah. working for another company building stuff right and when mm -hmm. she was on the on the construction site like the guys like the client would like make jokes or like be confused like okay well I'm talking to you. When are when is the, when is the worker coming? When is the mechanic coming? And she is wow. the me and she is the mechanic. So that, that stuff really definitely still exists, and that does discourage women women to stay in their job because she quit and she's a waiter now. She's waiting now in a Austrian pub, basically. Yeah, and that is definitely still the case. But I don't think that there are any like logistics problems. Like I feel like women have the opportunity. To, but this is what we mean by societal pressure. Yeah, it's, they, they are getting discouraged. That is true. That, in some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. Some, But I think that gets better with time, no? Like, that shit always... I think it's now better than it was ever before. People start bitching and moaning more and more, but I feel like with, with time, it gets better. Like, what are you going to do? You think now it's worse than it was 20 years ago? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's better now than it's ever been. So what are you right. gonna do and about it? Maybe getting better. We don't know. We'll see. But you sh you shouldn't be delusional about it in history. You shouldn't be like, no, that doesn't happen. Guys aren't saying that. No, you know, I don't think that's true. That's stupid. Do women do have to put up with men in that scenario? You know, it that, does that... happen. But to what degree is it societal pressures, and to what degree is it us just being naturally more inclined to do certain roles? I mean, just because you're inclined to become a mechanic doesn't mean now you have to talk shit about a woman mechanic. You know what I mean? Okay, you did what you think is right, but why, why do you give a fuck if a, like, a foreign woman does it next to you? It, it, it hurts their pride, I guess, in some oh, way. you think that's what it is? It, I think it is an ego thing with the, those men as well, a little bit. It's, it's also men going into fields like nursing. Because like you said, Nile, you're doing it right now. You, the societal pressure thing we're discussing, you, you just, you're an example of it. Because you said, if you're a guy and you're nursing, you're weird. Or you're in a guy, in, uh, sorry, you're in childcare, you're weird. Right. Right? And so you think, yeah, I guess. You see what I'm saying? And then like, if a guy wants to get into nursing, get into nursing, he's going to get the same thing from other men as well. Why is he in nursing? What's he doing? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's just how it is. Are you into kids? You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, but shit like that. No, no, seriously, yeah, it's yeah, a thing. yeah. yeah. And and even women do it to men too. Men do it to women. Women do it to men. Right. Because like if a woman hears a guy's in nursing, obviously it depends on the woman. But there's a lot of women that will be like, oh. Why or even if they hear he's in childcare, whatever it might be, right? He has a nursery. She's going to be like, well, why do you have a nursery? And it happens on both sides. Men and women do this. It is weird. It's a complicated topic. It's super complicated. And I don't know, man. <laughs> We should all just be a bit nicer to each other in the real world. Obviously not in the internet. I'm still going to be insulting people. But, you know, in, when it's about the real world, I feel like... Do you know what? Just base it off competence. Yeah, literally. Is she good at her job? Is he good at his job? Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if she's a woman and she uh, can do whatever it might be, the manual labor, let's say, better. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Any Maybe guy needs to for longer, whatever it might be. Yeah. She could do it better. Then, regardless of whether she's a woman or not, you have to base her on her job based off her merit, like what she's actually doing, bringing to the table, rather than just her being a woman. Right. She can't be that good. She's a woman. 
you know what I mean? Right. Not that logic. Instead yeah. of that, just base it off the merit of the person. How good they are at their job. Same as the guy. If he's a really good nurse, Nayel, or he owns a nursery, and he's really good with kids. And all the kids can do calculus by the first year, and they're all gene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I would send like, my, yeah. No, no, but you see his face when he's dealing with the kids, and he seems genuine. Like, he's not a weirdo. Yeah. It's like, how are you doing, Timmy? Do you know what I mean? Like, he's one of those guys who's, like, really energetic. Whatever it oh, is. Oh, don't be upset. And he's one of those guys. Like, Loki, I can see it. Your mind, when you gave me the example, were thinking of some men walking around like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, get off. Like, obviously, <laughs> if that's the case, it's different. Just not paying like, attention, just laying like down. That. The kids are hanging off a tree branch. It's about to fall down and we're just laying down. he doesn't the... care, bro. He's playing League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, I guess is lots of stereotypes are like, We're bit, like talking in hypotheticals and just in general without really knowing the person is something that I think we yeah. we do that as humans all the time mm -hmm. without we don't we don't know the context we don't know a certain person we just judge and we just we just judge and we talk in generalizations you know yes yes we're talking in generalizations but there's always exceptions there's always exceptions yeah but I, we no, no one of us is saying that no girl should lift anything ever and we're also not saying that no guy should do any compassionate job ever which is you know like guys can be compassionate in business and women can also be pretty rough did i tell you nail there was a woman that i made start crying sorry i didn't make her cry but she started crying when we we're basically having the discussion of why there are no women in the navy seals right in and the, i'm a bit of a dickhead because i'm not sugarcoating in the, i'm just in, honest in the right? british navy or like No, no, the Navy SEALs, which is actually in America. Oh. In, the, in the UK, it's the SOS. SOS? Whatever. I don't even know, bro. Okay. But yeah, there's their own version. And basically, she was saying, well, they should start hiring women, right? And I was just saying, well, on average, um, men are stronger than women. And the men in the Navy SEALs aren't your average men. No, those are fucking... They're like the top 1% of men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So so the top 1% of men, how many women are going to be left that can compete with the top 1% of men? And I was like, there aren't that many. And and she literally started crying, Nile. And this is why I'm letting you know there's devil's advocate. Why'd she start Legit crying? crying why she start Tears, red face. And I was like, what the flip is going on? You should have said Because physically. I just said it like it was a blanket statement. But she's thinking of it as in there's ex exceptions. Because you can't find a woman who's stronger than the average guy. Oh, obviously. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always there's always that ex exception rule, and then from then I started thinking about it. Yeah, sure. There's always that exception, man. But here's the It's thing: the thing is that doesn't take away from the generalizations you're making. Yeah, you're right on a majority level, but there's always that one person, bro. Mm. And the thing is, like, you should have said, like, I think a lot of people misunderstand when people say men are stronger than women. We, like, we should always say physically mm -hmm. because like especially like now in such an emotional age whenever you say men are stronger you they they interpret that like in every dimension like as and if they, as yeah, if yeah, we're as like, if we're superior people yeah, yeah. which is not true it just means that our skeleton can just lift and endure heavier uh, uh heavier Load. loads yeah that's all it means A guy that can bench press 200 kg more than a woman can be worth infinitely less than the woman, depending on his character and what type of person he is. You know, just because mm -hmm. we say stronger, it just means physically. Just because a guy is physically strong doesn't mean he's worth shit. He's got to bring, he's going to use that for, like, he has to use that for something good or something that doesn't hurt people. You know, if, if you're a super strong guy, and you just go out in nightclubs and you start beating on people for fun, then you're not stronger than women. Sure, physically, it, physically you are, but you're a weak human. You know, that's what it means. The reality is, though, Niall, yeah, yeah, you're describing it. So when we discuss it and we say men are physically stronger or stronger, they see it as demeaning when in reality it's not even that big of a deal. It's not a big deal. Like the only guys that get a confidence or an ego boost because they're stronger than... Are idiots. These a, are dickheads. A large chunk of women. Bro, it's just embarrassing. Those like, are dumbasses. It's like that. Yeah. It's just how it is. And the thing is, it's not that big of a deal anyway. Because I don't think strength on its own is a big deal. Like, it isn't. A guy who's stronger than another guy. No one looks at the guy who's stronger than the other guy physically and goes, 
Wow, that guy is awesome. And the other guy is weaker than him is a dickhead. Yeah. It's not how it is. Yeah. You're based off your character. You're based off your, of, of like what you can do, your accomplishments, what kind of a person you are. Just because you're strong, it doesn't mean anything. Nothing. Like yeah. it's not on its own. It's not an accomplishment. Uh, unless it's like in a competitive even setting. Even if we're talking in a physical sense, just because you're stronger than someone doesn't mean you can fight them. That is the if next point. Strength. Yeah. If the guy's done a bit of MMA, he's done a bit of Muay Thai, he's done a bit of literally anything. You're not. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. The strength on its own. But yeah, go on. Now. I guess it it only makes sense in a competitive settings like the Olympics or football. I guess then it makes sense. Oh wow, that guy uh, just outplayed the other guy super hard. Yeah, but that's not even strength anymore. In well, football, it's well, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, like, endurance. like Olympic weightlifting. You know, I mean, Olympic that's but that is also technique. That is also technique. Like, that is that's what I'm saying. Strength on its own isn't a thing. No. He has to go and accomplish something with yeah, it. Yeah. So he has to actually get into the Olympics. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He has to actually do something with it. Just a guy who's like, listen, man, I bench uh, 130 kg right now. I squat 180 and I deadlift 220. It's like, good. That's cool. And honestly, in the gym, I'll get impressed. But generally speaking, no one really cares that much. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? That's the funny thing. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Unless you've done something with it. If you say, oh yeah, and I'm, I'm entering the Olympics next year. Whoa. Yeah, that, that's saying? wild. That's wild. Yeah. yeah oh, shit. But on its own, physical strength isn't that big of a deal, I feel like. So when we say, on average, men are stronger than women, it's not to be demeaning. It's, it's just true. So we're saying it. And it, no one cares anyway. Okay, yeah. so what? Oh, yeah, I agree. It's so an observation. It yeah. You know what the funny thing that reminded me of? Is mm -hmm. like all these guys on TikTok. It's a meme. It's a meme. It's not like real. It's just a joke. But there, some of them are real. These guys on TikTok that like their only personality is going to the gym and they get a six pack and they get like super big and they still can't find a girl and they realize, wow, well, now I have all these muscles. I'm strong. I deadlift 400 kg and I'm still a loser, you know? Just a physique doesn't make you yeah. any more valuable than anyone else. Because I've seen the most ugliest guys with the like prettiest girls, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. You know, val I I know the values of men and women are different. What we value and what we think is super good. Obviously, you and me know that just because you have a physique doesn't mean you're worth shit. It's nice. It's a personal discipline accomplishment and blah, blah, blah. And you can branch off into a competitive setting to actually make a career out of it. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But for women, it doesn't really matter. And I think in general for humans, it doesn't really matter. Because we're like so like emotionally developed that we can look past that. We're not like monkeys anymore. We're not like silverback gorillas. The guy with the biggest back gets all the success. It's not like that. Yeah. It's more about what type of human you are and how what, what I think you there's know. degrees to it, right? So if the guy's majorly out of shape, he's massively overweight or he's like borderline um, malnourished, right? Then it's a, a thing. Then, mm -hmm. then it's a problem. Because mm -hmm. that in itself is unattractive. Yeah. But if you're just in shape and that's your only like merit, that's your only attribute, yeah, it's not. No one cares. No, like no one. Like the, the only cares. girl he will ever get is a girl as shallow as himself. Maybe, maybe, right? You know? Maybe, yeah, sure, sure. And that is not yeah, a quality woman. Sure, sure, sure. Right? Maybe, maybe. But the reality is, I think the guys see it like this: they see the crush or a girl that they know that likes, let's say, um, Thor, Chris Hemsworth, or whatever his name. Sure. Is. She's like, wow, he's attractive. Mm -hmm. And now he sees him and goes, okay, he's got a good physique. If I get a good physique, women will find me attractive. <laughs> That's not how it works. That's not how it he's works. He's attractive and he has a good physique. Yeah. But he's an accomplished actor and he's known globally. Yeah. And he's, he's for the fucking character in Marvel. Fucking, Marvel. Yeah. So like, yeah, do you know what I mean? So that's they see it like, okay, so now when I get a good physique, I'll be attractive just like him. No. So if they, when they get in good shape, and this is why a lot of them become incels, for real. They get in good shape, they're like, what's going on? Women don't even care. So, they, yeah, they, they don't see it. he has accomplishments he's done stuff in his life he's a big deal and he's also in really good shape so it's like the bonus like like guys see chris hemsworth and they see well he's tall i'm tall he has a six-pack well i don't have a six-pack i'll get a six-pack and i'll be just as him I'll be but back. but when yeah. but when girls see chris hemsworth and women they see more they see oh he's funny in his movies oh he is he is handsome. Oh, he is also rich and famous. 
oh wait uh, uh he he lives in the same country or whatever and like you know basically like they see more value to him in terms of more than just shallow stuff in the front maybe they like the way he talks maybe they find his yeah. a- accent attractive maybe they like his hair maybe they like you know you don't know maybe they like because he's blonde maybe you're not blonde they you know <laughs> there is a there's a ta- there's lots of shit like women look at stuff that guys don't look at yeah, yeah, yeah. They they care about stuff that we don't care about. We are very yeah. shallow beings. No, no, I wouldn't <laughs> say that. You know, not shallow. What do you call shallow? Um, I think honestly, uh, men uh, are very romantic. Not not nature. shallow. Shallow is a bad word. What do you say when we only look at the outside? You shallow. Yeah, you're right. But that's what we do. No, we like we we judge women based on that. Most most no, of no. guys most of guys do that, bro. No, no. Here's the reality. Yeah, this is. I I actually think men are genuinely very romantic. Obviously, it varies, right? We're talking generalizations, but I think generally speaking, men are very romantic. Dude, let me say one more thing. A guy, the the average guy, will not talk to a girl he objectively finds, or subjectively, whatever, finds unattractive. Even if if if, yeah. if God made the perfect woman for a guy, the perfect woman, but she, but she wasn't, was but she wasn't attractive, the guy wouldn't. Yeah. I think majority of guys wouldn't approach her. Agreed. So that's that. Answer. That's why I say shallow because women don't do that. They do do that, but they are more. You know, they are more open to anyone. We can discuss shallow for both genders. So the shallow, in the sense of, she's ugly. So even though we get along, she's just so hideous yeah. that I can't see myself in a relationship. Right. Right. I, I think women do that less. Women do that way less. I'll be honest with you. There is plenty of times where you'll see a butt ugly guy with a beautiful <laughs> woman. And yeah. the guy's butt ugly, yeah. right? But she'll say herself, like, oh, he treats me well and like whatever, he's funny. It's and she whatever. doesn't she doesn't even have to be a supermodel, but she's clearly out of his league. She's out of his class. She might not be the prettiest right. woman ever, but, but yeah. Then you can make the argument, well, she likes him for everything else outside of who he is. Yeah. Outside of his appearance, let's Maybe say. Maybe right? he's funny. And men, some men will look at that and say, well, that's horrible. She's using him for the money. Right. She <laughs> might genuinely find him attractive, right? Right. She might find him being a surgeon attractive. It's a status thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like when you mention a lawyer or a surgeon, whoa. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, like yeah. that thing. Yeah, they yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And it, it makes sense because it's one of his big accomplishments. Do you know how hard it is to become a surgeon? It should be attractive. Yeah. Right? It, it so, shows that the guy has commitment. And it shows quality of character too. Yeah. Like, do you know how hard that is? That's a quality individual because he's helping society at a high level. Let alone be a successful that. surgeon. On top of that, a success, maybe. A really good surgeon? Yeah. Bro, what to find. Yeah. So, yeah, that in itself is attractive. That's a catch. So, like, a lot of the time you could ask a woman, let's say she's going to go on a date with a guy and she's never met him, right? You're, you're trying to set up a date. If she finds out he's a surgeon, she's way more likely to go on the date. Way more likely. Most likely. She yeah. doesn't even need to see a picture anymore, bro. She just, she's just going to turn up. Do you see what I'm saying? So in a way, a guy can view that as like, well, what kind of... That's disgusting. She's gold digging. But that, they're shallow in both sense, though. Because with a guy, even if she finds out... Even if he finds out she's a surgeon, if she sees... She, if, sorry, if he sees that she's butt ugly, he doesn't he's not going to care. He doesn't care she's well, a bro, surgeon. Forget it. Yeah. I don't give a mark if you worked for eight years in university and you passed every test right, and you've done well your right. whole life and you've achieved something that 1% of humanity can achieve. You're butt ugly. Do you see? So in a way, the guy's a bit shallow, but also in a way, the woman's a bit shallow. Because now that she's found out he's a surgeon or he's a lawyer, a big lawyer, big time guy, she doesn't even care how he looks anymore. But I feel like the guys are shallow in a more mean and bad way. What do you mean? Sure, the girl is shallow that, uh, well, all right, he's maybe not the most handsome, but I'm, I'm willing to, you know, who cares? I mean, I, he's good enough. You know, he's a surgeon, very nice, blah, 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 so it's fine. I can look over the fact that he's maybe not that attractive. I feel like that is much, much better than a guy, well, that's a successful woman and a strong woman and a, a girl that's like top 1% of her fucking class and the best, like one of the best of the best. Well, but she's ugly, so I don't care, which that, you know. That is a bit more shallow than I think what the woman you is think doing. So? I think so, bro. I think they're both at the same equal level. No, I think I think what we do sometimes is kind of worse. Because in one sense, it's like 
they don't okay, bro so imagine don't imagine one, one thing one thing isa imagine yeah. you're a girl you go to med school for six seven eight years you go to your fucking uh, training as a doctor you become a trainee doctor you're a rookie you work 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 you become a pot top and you still can't find a man just because you're not there's a lot of women like that you know yeah and you still can't find a man because they're by the way not only attractiveness guys are intimidated by that as well it's true. Let's say you're a McDonald's worker, or you work in a warehouse, or you work in a regular job where you make not bad money, but just a regular thing, right? Not a, not not an academic job, and then you get a girl with a academic like STEM field position. Guys, guys do get intimidated by that. And also, the woman herself, she probably won't find the guy as attractive because you're attracted to the things you're interested in as well. So, like, if you're into, I don't know, physics, yeah. right? And you see someone, a physicist. Let's say you're a woman and you're really into physics. I don't know, string theory or something. And then you see the guy who's giving lectures to other physicists and he's a genius. He's more attractive in her eyes than a woman who doesn't care about physics at all. So a, so a surgeon woman would most likely... So it's, yeah, a she, woman who's at that level where she's a doctor and she's a surgeon. She also surgeon. wants a star surgeon probably. She, maybe a star surgeon, but also someone in that field, someone who's attracted because she's attracted to that. Right. It's like you're not going to be attracted to a footballer if you don't watch football to the degree that the footballer fans are. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, so it's like streaming. Right. Bro, if there's regular women who don't watch Twitch and they see us, they're like, what the fuck are these two bums? Right? That is true. But Most streamers' girlfriends are streaming as well. The Most streamers and like YouTubers, their girlfriends yeah, they are... With, even if they're not streamers, they watch Twitch or they're on Twitch. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? They're so in the it's, same... it's like that. It's usually like that. So if she finds <coughs> out he works at, let's say, a warehouse, there's nothing wrong with working in a warehouse. No, no. She just won't find him attractive, probably. Unless he's six foot five, beautiful, stunning. Do you know what I mean? Like, cool baby, but she still find it a bit unattractive that maybe he's not as driven as she is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that is rare. Are you... Yeah, it's true, man. Shit's but rough. I'll tell you why men, I think, are romantic, though. So let's assume in the situation where a man is completely physically attracted to the woman. Mm -hmm. It is a bit shallow now that you mention it. Because <laughs> if he's physically attracted to her, yeah. he doesn't give off. He doesn't care if she, what she works Dude, as. guys will tolerate a girl being a complete psycho, crazy-ass asshole just because she's hot. Guys will tolerate that shit. Some guys. Bro, how many stories Some I've heard? How many stories I've heard? Man, she keyed my car. Damn, did you break up? No, we're going to go eat after this. What do you mean you're going <laughs> to... Yeah, no, but that's the thing. You're right, you're right. Men are Did shallow. she apologize? Right. No, she still hates me. Well, what? No, men are shallow because you're right. If she is absolutely gorgeous... We will tolerate a lot. Like, I can't do it because she just seems like a bit of a bitch. And they, they just can't... That, yeah, those are good guys. But many, you know, some guys like many, that, so many, many guys. guys. Like most guys. But once they are attracted to them, the guy at that point, he just wants to just spoil her. Right. You see what I'm saying? In, in that sense, romantic. And it doesn't matter what she works as anymore. It doesn't matter what she's accomplished. Doesn't matter how much she can deadlift. Doesn't matter how tall she is. Doesn't forget that. He just loves her. You see what I'm saying? In that way, they're not shallow. That's why I was saying men are romantic. Bro, imagine you're like a guy that worked on himself in his twenties and you're like twenty-six and I mean you're already almost twenty-six, but let's say you're twenty-eight. Um, uh, you know, 26 for me is still pretty far away for you. It's like, I'm 24. yeah, my bad. You're going to turn 25 in like a couple. So, okay, whatever. So <laughs> let, let's say you're like already a bit accomplished in your twenties and you worked hard and you built yourself a small empire and you, you know, you're doing pretty well. And then imagine you meet a girl, you really like her. She really likes you, but she has a job. And then imagine you're like, you can, you can be like, imagine you have the option to tell her like, you know, if you want to, you can quit your job. You know, I have, you know, I have enough for both of us. You know how sick that is? I think, I think that that's, sick. I think that is one of the cool, she doesn't have to do it. I'm not going to be like, stop working now. You're with me. I'm not doing that. But I'm just saying, hey, if you want to, if you don't like your job, if you don't want to wake up every morning at 6 a.m. and get up, if you don't want to do that, you have the option. You know, if you're yeah, with yeah, me, yeah, if you're with me, on. you have the option to do whatever you want. You want to, you want to. <laughs> You want to follow your dreams? Do follow your dreams. I, I can take care of that. You know, whatever it is. I think that's just sick. The fact that a guy can offer that option to a girl. And it's I don't nice, know why. Nice, nice. And I don't know why, but the other way, it doesn't really happen like that. 
which I'm not saying it's a is a bad thing. I'm not saying that, but that's just kind of how we are. Yeah, it doesn't happen like that. And I think don't girls like that as well? Doesn't wouldn't a girl like it if a guy could give her that option? One hundred percent. Not force 100%. her, but give her that option. No, yeah, yeah, no, you no. know, just no one is forcing she, anyone. She has, do you know, like it's it's one of those things where if she's getting mistreated at work, she can just say, "All right, piss off. I'm not coming back tomorrow." Yeah, my and man. That's nice. My it's man nice has enough for both of us. I'm not. I'm. You know. I'm. Yeah. Not, I'm not it's relying. Nice. If she has a dream oh, job oh, and who she wouldn't want that option. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's it's nice to have that, and also yeah, it's probably attractive. It's I don't know, man. Attractive. Some people are gonna always object to everything. What you know? A Does guy... it work the other way around, though, Nile? If the woman says, sorry, if the woman's been working her whole life, I feel like to a degree she'd find it unattractive if the man cannot keep up with her le level of work, work ethic. I think so as well. Because I've actually why, heard that a few times. Why that is, I don't know. You could have a it, thousand it, arguments why that is. It's not a societal thing. I think it's a biological thing. You could say biological. You could say you could you could say societal. You could say political. You could say this. You could, you could there's a billion reasons you could use. I think me, it is a, it's just how guys are. I think. I think it's a biological thing, genuinely. Because if you think about it biologically, okay. If the man cannot take care of her, then when she's vulnerable, let's say when she's pregnant or when mm -hmm. there's kids, what, what is, how is she yeah. going to be able to take care of the kids when she has to take care of the man also? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I think it's a biological thing. Even if she doesn't want kids, it's just, it's innate. It's like biological. It's psychological and biological. Your, your partner, head. your wife isn't supposed to be your mother, you know? Yes. So when she, if she says, well, I don't want kids, so it doesn't apply to me. It's still there in your head though. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's regardless of whether you want kids or not, because it's biologically what you're attracted to. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be I mean. a team, you know, and both. You're supposed to be a team, and the guy is, he's more attractive, I feel like, if he's in a position to take care of her completely. And the potential child. Yeah, yeah, no, but here's the thing. If he can completely take care of her, then she can freely take care of the child. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have to worry about going to work, because... Ooh, she like if she wants to she can sure but <clears throat> what i'm saying is she doesn't have that worry anymore she doesn't have the need to mm -hmm. so it's more attractive because now she could just take and people are gonna find that offensive they're gonna be like well why does the woman have to take care of the child well bro women literally are like what do you call it when women get pregnant women, women do breastfeed. they breast they just biologically like that. they i mean it's not about can breastfeed they have to breastfeed the, the immune system thing you have to do that to your child you have to you ha my, i think that's a must no i think some women can't breastfeed for some reasons whatever yeah. um i guess that's an exemption but i think if a woman can breastfeed she has to do it and that's just for how long do they have to breastfeed three years four uh, years I think I think no, no 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 bro i think my mom uh like breastfed me until that's five. why yeah, that's why you grew so big because I, 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 bro, I swear to God, no. Because my like, you know, doctors say only breastfeed for two or three. My mother breastfed me until it, I didn't want to anymore, and I, I and I think that was until I was four years old. Whoa! So I'm not. I don't. I don't even know. Bro, four years old, big man. Bro, I'm six foot two, bitch. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It work. I think it, it worked. Work. For my genetics, I'm way too tall for my genetics. I'm way yeah, too yeah, big. Maybe it worked. I don't know. Basically, like I said, like I think. Okay, let's say it's two years. Even if it's one year, do, do, you know, what if the baby wants to... You can take the baby to you with the, on the job and then breastfeed on the job. That's not how, you know... Some women do that. No, but here's what I'm saying. Like, even if they can go and work, the freedom of saying... Or the freedom of, sorry... Like, my husband provides for both of us. He takes care of me completely to the point where I don't need to work. I can if I want, but I don't need to. Mm -hmm. And just having that freedom, I think, so nice for a woman. Because she's already got so many burdens, like, biologically. She's going to get pregnant. She's going to ha have to give birth to this child. She's, the, the child's going to be screaming in the middle of the night. He needs to get breastfed. She has to get up. The guy can wake up as well, but he can't go and breastfeed the child. So mm -hmm. she has to wake up. She has to go and breastfeed. Then she's going to go through a menstrual cycle. And then later on in life, she's going to go through menopause. And her emotions are going to be fluctuated. Like, it's just... 
There's so much pressure and burdens already put on the woman. On the woman, just the by least the man yeah. could do is lessen the burdens and give her the freedom to just be okay. If you really think about it, a woman's life biologically is so much harder than a guy's. It's way harder, bro. It's so much harder than a guy's, bro. Innately, they they but bleed the guy once. Has a... to pick up burdens of his own. They bleed up one. They they bleed out once every month. They, they their ho hormones go up and down once every month. The skin starts breaking and it messes with them. And Acne like, breaks out. It's it just with them. on top of yeah. that the social media. Pre like a, I think a woman's life on a social level and on a biological level is so much harder. On a, yeah. I'm not saying yeah. it. It's harder like all across the board. Of course, when a guy you know falls off a skyscraper because he was doing that's a pretty hard job. I'm not comparing it, but like. Let's say women and men were just outside, just standing, doing, doing nothing. nothing. The woman's life would be harder. Because what is, what is going to happen? What is going to happen to us? We're going to sleep and we're going to come in our nothing. sleep. We, like, we so orgasm in our sleep. A woman and how, what she goes through, it's almost like she's an alien. Yeah. Bro, she just starts bleeding randomly. <laughs> like, like, what's going on? And some and of them... She starts cramping. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? Yeah. Nah, nah, it just happens every month. I'm just... I'm like, what? What? And, like, and some women have like, alien. bro, I, I've heard stories of some girls, bro. They have such crazy pain. It's like unbearable. Yeah. Like I, I have, yeah, I know, I know girls, I know girls that like, have, they get migraines and they get like cluster headaches and they take like paracetamol and all types of medications when they're on the periods. Like it's, it's bad, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I, you said, the guys, that's when the guys pick up actual load, like, because we have that. You know, because we have more, like, it's easier for us to do shit. And, and do you know what it is as well, Nile? Think about it like this, yeah? Think about this from your um, perception. There's a guy, okay, who sits down at home and he does nothing. He just eats pizza and he watches TV. A bum. Okay? And his wife is going out to work. It's a bum. And she's working, let's say, two shifts to provide for the family. <laughs> For him, for her, maybe if they have children. Right. She comes home after a, I don't know, twelve hour shift that day. And she comes home to this guy sat on the couch with his legs spread eating a pizza and he's Hey it, honey, how are you? And it's dirty. The whole scene angers me a bit. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Now picture it in reverse where she's been... Let's say he was cleaning as well, let's say. And he made food and he took care of the kids that day. Well, that's good. That is good. That is good. But here's the thing. If she's come home from a hard manual labor job, that's fucked okay, up, Kenda. It's something about it still irks me a bit, even though he's, he's not like he's useless. He's doing stuff. Right. Now, if it's in the reverse and he's come home from a hard manual labor job, maybe his hands are cut up, whatever it might be, right? And he comes home and she's smiling. Kids are being fed. This, it's, 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 I'm not even saying it's more natural, but it's more like... Fitting. It's way more fitting to me. I, I can't tell you why, bro. Me neither. Maybe it's natural. Maybe it's social so, a society, me growing up. Bro, it's just way more fitting. It makes more sense. That, that whole the picture idea makes that more sense. coming home with cut up fingers and a shoulder injury. Like, I don't like that. But a shoulder injury, that, every guy has a shoulder injury, bro. That's yeah. working. Do you know we don't, we don't go to the hospital. We just sleep it off. It's fine. You sleep it off. Hands <laughs> cut up. Yeah. Men are supposed to have cut up hands. That's life. Right. So, like, that's, it's more natural to me. Right. Maybe we're just brainwashed and they're the enlightened ones. Maybe, maybe other people are. Maybe we're brainwashed. I don't know. Maybe, honestly, maybe. I just don't want to come off as a woman hater. I love women. I love how women. The hell is that woman hater? God knows how that's a woman hater. But like I said, we don't mean any ill things to anyone. Not even guys. I don't even hate guys. I'm just telling. You know, some guys you will know, take I don't off. care anymore. I mean it ill wise. <laughs> some dudes bro, if will you're some offended by what me and Nyla are saying right now then you're just trying to be offended some guys I will take offense so professionally there is always someone taking offense always yeah well they can suck my balls <laughs> all right now let's go next topic Talk to me. next topic huh um i must i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it light-hearted man it's been a wholesome episode i feel like let's keep it light-hearted uh, -huh. uh populous um i've seen a clip as always uh i don't know about our audience is more European, so I don't know how how much my our viewer base knows about the American streamer scene or whatever. Yeah, but they know who Hassan Abi is. Bro, he's a big name. We're going to find out. Popular streamer Hassan Abi. By the way, he's Turkish. Fun fact to all the Turkish viewers. He's an American Turkish. Um, popular streamer Hassan Abi. I sent you the link, by the way. You can check it out if you want to. Mm-hmm. 
he has made a very interesting quote and we're gonna listen to it and then we're gonna talk about it i'm ready are you ready i'm ready all right ready three two one go yes a real job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you you know what i mean in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will i think that's it so mm -hmm. so i'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a redo it again just to basically get the essence of his statement and some people say it's out of context but in my opinion it isn't <clears throat> so basically by the way this guy so you guys know this guy is averaging like i think up to 50,000 viewers yeah he's, right he's a millionaire he's an obvious multi i think multi-millionaire he lives in a mansion he drives a porsche um he's a very rich and wealthy guy okay, okay. and in his opinion a real job doesn't suck the soul out of someone or at least out of him i guess he talks, he talks for himself people say it's out of context um the context that was given after that was that he was comparing streaming to his old sales job he used to work in sales and in his own opinion he says that streaming was more socially draining and after a nine hour stream he had no social battery left that is his own opinion mm -hmm. um and he says that a real job doesn't suck the soul out of him as much as streaming does which i guess he's entitled to that opinion but how do you think does that applies to the uh, how does how much does that apply to the average worker in 2024 the average worker, I would say streaming's harder. The average worker, bro, I've seen how people work, the average worker. The average worker today is someone who works in marketing and they're sat down at home all day and they show up to the office once a week, especially after Corona and everything happened, and they just show up for meetings and they send out a few emails. That's from what I've seen, bro. But then there's jobs like the stuff I used to do at the warehouse. Then there's jobs like anything, bro. Mining or working on an oil rig. Oh, by all means, that's way harder. That's way harder. But I think compared to the average job where someone shows up to the office, I ironically think streaming is harder. I mean, let's I stay on the topic. He's, he talks about social battery. That was the context missing. He says that socially draining, like streaming is more harder. Let's just say socially. It, it, I, I would disagree. In I think there is no person alive that likes all of his co-workers. I don't think so. I think that most workspaces, there is always some type like, I worked in a retirement home that was socially draining and physically on top of that. And it was so socially draining. Like it was. So he just means specifically socially. So streaming yeah. is harder socially and that's it. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. Because people took it out of context and they said, well, how can you compare streaming to a regular job? And I talked about it. I made it myself like, okay, can anyone stream? No. I feel like, but then, but then again, I am the type of person, I think streaming is something that you can either do or you can't. I don't think oh, that's... Yeah. Good day, you think? I, I don't think streaming is something you can practice. I think you can to some degree, but I feel like every streamer has a predisposition to be like an entertaining type. Maybe. Or, or, or whatever it is that they stream that they're good at. You know, some streamers are not ent entertaining at all, but they're so competent at what they do. And so people watch it. But I think most, like, let's say, let's say on an entertaining basis, I think streamers, you like, you're just, you're just a streamer. You know how to do it. And for streamers, streaming isn't hard. But people work in office jobs why, when they're not real office workers. People work as trash uh, men, like the guys that take trash, but they're not real people that do that for out of passion. People, people become goddamn any job but it's not really something that they're really good at or they wanted to do in the first place so i feel like and also streamers okay let's say streaming is hard we're in such a privileged position anyways no one says that being an actor like dwayne the rock johnson isn't difficult but like how much un like how much sympathy do you have for a multi-millionaire complaining about his social battery Oh, so I, I, I just streamed for nine hours and now I but can't does talk. does he have a point though, Niall? Does I don't think, I don't think he has any point, no. Okay, hear me out though, Niall. I think it varies depending on what you're doing and how long you're streaming for. So if you're just playing League for eight hours, you're going to be fine after. 
But if you have to discuss, let's see what let's say what he's doing, political topics and stuff that's serious, and you have to maybe have debates on his stream, you bring someone on, or he's just debating people in chat. If he's doing that for 12 hours, you can see where he's coming from. You see what I mean? I mean, it depends how emotionally... Like, if he if he attaches himself so much emotionally to these strangers online in these conversations... I mean, that's what makes him a good streamer, though. In the sense that he can talk about things politically that he actually cares about. I guess. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, if you're yeah, but... just like... Even if you're playing league for 12 hours, it will still drain you. Like, Absolutely. you just want to eat after a shower or something. Like, you don't want to do some... You don't want to go out with your friends after a 12-hour stream or 13-hour stream. I would. You just want to chill after. But in his in his case where he's... Maybe, maybe he's thing, an introverted guy. Maybe he's introverted. Because I'm, not, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty extroverted. I don't really care. So you wouldn't care? No. I think streaming's difficult in that it's very frustrating... If you're trying to grow your stream and you don't know what, what's working and what's not working, you don't know what you're doing wrong. Because there's a lot of people that are new to streaming, and especially if you remember as one well, night, when you're trying to grow your stream, there's nights where you're laying there and you're like, what the f am I going to do? Or maybe you had a bad stream, and there's nights you're laying there and you're like, I can't afford to have any more of these streams. Like, I, I, I never said that in my life. Okay, but if you have a horrible stream, you definitely don't feel good after. No, no, I feel bad. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a bad day. So... So in that sense, streaming, I think, is difficult because it's such a saturated market. It is saturated. But you're right um, in that we're privileged. Absolutely privileged. We're definitely so privileged because we do what we love. Not because it's easy, but because we love it. And we make and money. People are doing it. stuff that they just genuinely don't care about or don't even want to do. And we get paid literally... We get paid tenfold of whatever other people make. We get paid stupid amounts for something that we enjoy doing. Right. And I think it, the only reason it's um, rewarding is because we enjoy doing it. And money aside, honestly. Money aside, yeah. It's just, it's, we're privileged only because we enjoy it, I think. Mm -hmm. The money's nice, but it's just because we enjoy it. I think that's the number one thing. And we and get to do it, you know. We Fin get to do it. But I we think it, it. financial stuff has something to do with that. Because someone that works in a warehouse, he can still paint because he enjoys it on the site. But mm -hmm. we are still more privileged because he doesn't make money from those paintings. If he could make money from those paintings at the same time and not have to work at that pay warehouse job, he would be even more privileged. No, but here's what I'm saying. Isa, you could be still in that warehouse and stream but get no money from it. Yeah, but what's are, are you because we can work, we can do something, consider it work, and enjoy it. Do you see what I'm saying? He's not yeah. going to consider it work. He's going to consider it a hobby as a painter. You see what I'm talking about? But he would love to make money from he that. Would, he would. He would. That's what I'm saying. But he can't. And what I'm saying is, even if the money was, wasn't was as much as Hassan Abi's making, let's say, if he made one-tenth of what he's making, I know it's still a lot, but <laughs> you understand one what I'm saying here. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not just the fact that it's the money. It's the fact that he can make a living doing something he loves. That's what I mean. Well, that's exactly the same thing, but I think that is not a difference. It no, is no, because of it the doesn't money. have to be millions. No, not millions, but money, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this, not, is, okay, this, cool. is, this is then, not... Then if, yeah. yeah, if you can make money off something you love doing, that's where the privilege comes That's from. privilege. Even if it's a hard thing to do, but it's I think privilege. streaming is hard, bro. I'm not even going to lie. <sighs> you think so? I don't think well, I when think I wake hard? up in the morning and I have to stream, I'm not like, oh, I have to do this. I love streaming. But I think it's hard to get into streaming. If you're going to tell someone, yo, brother, uh, let's say an 18-year-old comes up to you, yeah, right? I want to be a streamer. I want to be a streamer. You're going to look at him with a blank stare and you're going to be like, are you sure? Because it's not easy. I have, I have seen many people start stream and they never push through ever. Yeah, and in the first few months, they quit. Not few it's months. Not easy. Few, few, as, few like, days, bro. They make maybe five days in a row and then they stop. No, but even if it's a few months, because you might not see progress in a few months. Really well, my, my streaming career has been very, like, uh, very privileged. Like, I was you're very privileged. privileged. And also because you're a challenger. When you started streaming, you were a challenger or grandmasters. A lot of I, people my like, stream has I'm been Diamond growing. Three. Yeah. I'm Diamond 3 and I want to become a streamer. If someone comes that up is... to you and he says, oh, listen, I'm Diamond 3, which isn't low elo. Yeah, but no not... one cares about that. Exactly. No one it's cares. Not, it's not That's special. Yeah. So you're going to look at him. You're not even trying to be harsh. And you're just, you, you're kind of, you're kind of going to push him away from it. Even if he's passionate, like, I'm not going to push him away from it. I'm going to let him know. I'm going to let him know, like, there's a thousand plus people streaming right now on Twitch. 
a lot of them are grandmasters challenger. Why is anyone going to tune into your Diamond 3 stream? And I'm not saying it maliciously. I'm no, saying it's the it truth. just the reality. If you're already on the topic, Isa, give some tips out on, on people that want to start streaming. What is your advice if, to people that want to start streaming? If you want to start streaming, I don't know how the just chatting section is. So that's something entirely. But if we're discussing league... Let's say league. League, you have to be grandmasters minimum. Because you need to be playing with big names in order for people to actually notice you, number one. Otherwise, because the reality is, even if you have the best content on Twitch, like you are the funniest streamer, Dave Chappelle level of humor, you're interactive, you're talking to the guys. Even if you're that guy, yeah. if you're sitting in Platinum 3, you're limited. Because yeah. even if your content's that good, no one's going to see it. That's like people like Kai Sanat that successfully pull off. Because Kai Sanat is not like doing anything. But that's, not even that's just trying. But he does play games and stuff, but... Or like Speed. No, speed, Speed, a, a Speed. You know, stream. I show Speed that is not a just chatting streamer. He's a gamer, but... Like, you, you're like... That is like once in a no, lifetime. Variety, you... though, not yet. Hmm? And when I say just chatting, I mean variety. Because everyone in just chatting plays games eventually. Okay, all right. But let's... Okay, yeah, just in League, I would... I mean, it is possible to be so funny. There is content creators on TikTok, which are low elo, that make some type of... Um, True some type of uh views um but that is hard that is that is even harder than what regular streamers get big on youtube or get big on tiktok or get big on instagram and then and then turn them into streaming streaming on twitch alone ain't gonna do it for you no because when you first start streaming and you're sitting there below 10 views and there's five people there is no discoverability on twitch you can't discover people even no if one's you're gonna the know. best streamer in the world, no one's going to know because there's only five people watching. You have to be on TikTok. You have to be on YouTube Shorts. Yeah. So if you're a marketing genius, you've got TikTok Everywhere. ready, you've got the YouTube ready, you've got the Instagram ready, and you're loading out clips every day, sure. Yeah. Um, and you need to know what you're doing. You can't just that, that's how That's how Queso got big. Who? You don't know Queso? I don't know who Queso is. Queso got big like that. I mean, Who's I mean, that? he's not, not, I'm not talking about eating, but in terms of like TikTok, Queso is one of the biggest streamers on Twitch now. And he used to be a nobody, like I think a couple months or maybe years ago. He was like very, very small. And he had clips of it. Like he, he had no viewers on his stream at all. And he's just a really funny guy. And he popped the fuck off with these moments he had on stream. He probably had like a stream and like he, he did that moment he had on stream for like 10 viewers. And he just uploaded that on TikTok and that shit exploded overnight. And now he has like, really? and now he's on 30, 40,000 viewers or whatever, like 20,000 subs or whatever. And like, that's um. like you, like if you want to be a streamer and you're not on TikTok or YouTube shots or YouTube, I think it's over for you. I, th- I don't think you can ever make it on Twitch alone. Um, it is Which- possible. I did make it on Twitch alone. I, I had it one time where I only had a Twitch and nothing else. But you know why that is? I, I still made it. In terms of, I, I'm not saying I made it, but like I still made my streaming, lu- my stream lucrative because I was in Challenger and I had you a moment. And you streamed every day. And I streamed every day for like multiple hours. And I had a game, for example. The first time I ever ha- had a spike in viewers was when I played against the Baus. By the way, Baus was a small streamer back then. Small. He was like as big as us now. He had I like remember, one. I he remember, had like. I remember Baus when he was two hundred viewers. I re- I started. Re- I I first met Baus when he was like a thousand. Wow. And I remember there was one day where Baus had like between a thousand and two thousand views, and he he read my name and that was that that's when I had my Twitch TV name, and he was like, guys, go to his stream and distract him for me, and I was like, that was the first time I had like two hundred viewers. That's sick. Because all of his people that's came sick. over, you know. And they were following me and many, many people stayed um, afterwards because I used to stream when Baus didn't stream because those were times where I used to stream like 15 hours a day. Like very crazy. I don't stream that much no more. But like if you're playing in high elo, you can make it without any other social media. But I still I still recommend going on other social media and you need to be consistent. You need to stream every day. You have to. Thing is, if you're only on Twitch... You're limiting yourself. Yeah. And if you're not high low, I don't think it's possible. I don't, I, like, and I mean high low is a Never, never say off. never, but it's the, your odds no, I, go honest, down I'm so much. It because I think it's true and maybe I'm wrong. But if you're, let's say you're platinum, okay? Or even diamond. How is anyone going to find your stream? Yeah, TikTok. Twitch don't do a, jo- a good job of promoting streamers. TikTok, I think that's bro. Fair. 
TikTok. They don't. I, I'm not flaming them. It's just I think there's too many streamers. So there's how they're gonna promote everyone. If you're viral on TikTok, you can make it on Twitch, no matter who you are. It's possible. Yeah, if you're big on YouTube, you can make it on Twitch. If you're big on TikTok, you can make it on Twitch. That's just how it is. But you need you need people to be able to actually find you. Now, the, the, if they the, can't find you because you're not playing with Hyrule players and you're not on other like uh, social media platforms, bro, you're finished. Then it's impossible, yeah. But it's, it's impossible. I don't see it happening. Yeah, if you want to be a streamer, you need to put in a lot of work and you need to get ready to be disappointed as well. A lot. A lot. Not everything is going to work. So, it's, it is a risky job. For me, it was very lucky because I started my streaming career while I was still in school. So I did it as a hobby. I built it up. And when I finished school, I made enough to actually like be self-employed. So I, I was very lucky. If you're already in your mid-20s and you want to start streaming, that's more difficult because you probably already have a full-time job mm. and you're already tired um, and it's hard. But if you're, if you're younger, if you're like 16, 17 listening to this, give it a shot. Try it if you want to. Um, and if you really get into that grind set and into that hunger feeling of being a creator, I think it's possible, but it is difficult. Um, like I said, not as difficult as a other job, but bro, I think it's harder than most jobs. <laughs> honestly, I, honestly, it, I think the average job now isn't hard. Bro, as a streamer, job. as a streamer, you either try it and it's for you or it's not. And if it is for you, I don't think it's that hard. You know what here's I mean? The thing, here's the thing. Growing it, because you're discussing it from the point of view where you can just log on to your Twitch account and just start streaming. Now, I'm saying to grow it and to get to a stage where you can make money off it, that's really hard. That wasn't that hard for me, I feel like. You know, you got lucky, bro. <laughs> I got like, lucky. No, I'm not saying you were lucky as in you don't deserve it, but as in, you, you number one, your challenger. How hard is it to get a challenger in league number one? We yeah, need to discuss that. That's yeah? point, point, that's number point two, zero one exactly so like already it's hard yeah. and then on top of that i'm not saying you got lucky in a, in a way where you don't deserve of course you deserve it that's why you've retained the views but in a way like a lot of people a challenger streamers they'll try and stream and even though the challenger and you won't see them get many views you won't see them make enough money but that's it. their fault i feel like i understand but like this is what i'm saying you're lucky in a way where you enjoy streaming you like but you and me are the entertaining type i know i know but here's the thing there's two kind of streamers on league there's the streamer where he's the entertainer and i'll call that guy a streamer yeah then there's the guy who is the league player yeah now both of them have to be challenger or grandmasters yeah or i would say i, th I think like, zukil is rank. a perfect example for that zukil zukil is a great streamer no in one the sense that he's a league player like i think but, not not anyone really watches zukil for him as a person because he because so. he doesn't so. talk I think Zuko, if he wanted to, he could be a streamer, but he's focused on the content itself now. And he's a shy so guy. He's a, he's a shy person. Maybe he's shy. Maybe we don't know. But he the, is the shy. Is, yeah. he is. Zuko is an example of, I'd say, leak player. Mm -hmm. Because people are coming in for the content. Mm -hmm. People are coming into your stream. Sure, they want to learn Aatrox, but they're actually coming in because they enjoy watching your stream. Right. So I think there's two of them, but either way, they both have to be challenger. That is true. They both have to be challenger grandmasters. For the average guy, even if he's masters, which is such a high rank, think about that, Nail, bro. I that's hate masters. 1%. I hate these people. <laughs> I hate it too, but that's top one percent. Yeah. Sure, so sure. So a guy who's silver is gonna learn a lot watching a masters player. He sure, will. I guess. And a masters player, if he wanted to, he could coach a gold player really well. Yeah. And the majority of league players are gold, platinum, emerald. So emerald player will learn a lot from a, a masters. Right. But an emerald player won't even give a masters player a chance. Number one, why? Because if there's a Masters Aatrox player... There's also a Challenger right? Aatrox player. Great. He'll watch. And then as soon as Niall comes online, he's switching over to your stream. Right. That's the reality. It's just how it is. Unless, Unless the Masters, Masters guy is Aatrox super funny. Aatrox player is the funniest guy yeah. in the whole world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know yeah, this because I'm a pig like that too. I'm like that on chess. I'm not like that in league because I don't care. But in chess... I'll be watching a Grandmasters player, a legit monster, right? Yeah. I don't watch it now, but when I used to play it, a legit monster. And then Hikaru comes alive, bro. I'm out straight away. I don't give a fuck. Isn't Hikaru I'm, a I'm monster? Hikaru. Isn't Hikaru a monster himself? Yeah, exactly. Hikaru's literally one of the best. If not, he's like one of the best in Blitz, if not uh, one of, right? So I'm watching a guy 
who would absolutely batter me in a thousand games out of a thousand. Okay? But it doesn't matter. But as soon as Hikaru comes online, just because Hikaru is better, it's not because of his personality. Oh, okay, I get it. Hikaru's cool, but his personality is not why I'm watching him. I get it now, I get it. Predominantly why I'm watching him is because his gameplay is such a high level. I'm sitting there in awe, like, God time out. High level chess is so funny anyways. And I the worst part is, I could probably watch a very similar performance from the other guy. But just because I know Hikaru is a little better, mm -hmm. I'm going to go watch Hikaru. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And high, like high, bro, bro, high elo chess is so funny anyways to watch. Because you, especially me, I'm totally clueless about chess. My dad used to play chess, but I'm clueless about chess. And it's just uh, so funny watching him sta stand in front of his monitor and like look at his chessboard. I don't even know what's going on. And it's not even his turn yet, right? And he's like, well, if takes, 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 it takes and takes and takes <laughs> and takes and takes and takes. And then I, E4, C7, E2, C4, E7, uh, A takes, takes. So nah, I'm just yeah. going to do this. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. It's so good, but I love that though. Here's the thing. <clears throat> we're just like that, man. Because if we're going to take time out of the, our day to watch someone, think about it logically. We're going to watch the best player we can watch. Yeah. And the worst part is, and this is the truth as well, if you know someone's really good at something you like, let's say mm -hmm. chess or league, you actually find them more entertaining personality-wise. True. It's just how it is. True. Like, if you're watching someone who's rank one play, even if he says regular things, you'll find it more funny. Like Hikaru, I don't, I don't know about chess, that, but no, no, seriously, seriously, this is the truth. Hikaru, if like Hikaru is let's say rank one, two, or three, yeah, when he's playing chess and he just says stuff, I swear it makes me chuckle. <laughs> no, he's not even trying to be funny. He's just normal. you if are. He wasn't you are a glazer, players, man. You're just glazing at no, this no, point. no, no. Trust me, Naya. <laughs> if, if he was my Elo in chess, let's say he's nineteen hundred, yeah, and he says the same lines, I'm just gonna be staring at him with a blank face. Straight up, we're like okay. that innately. We're like that innately. I'm serious. I don't well, know about. I don't know like about that all that, but sure. No, no, this is true, bro. And okay. I can tell you. Remember, I'm a cutie pie back in the day, when he was rank one. Vaguely. Okay, so it's the guy with the one, long one, hair, like, right? He's long hair. Yeah, he had long hair. I was maybe like 16 or 17 or something. This was a long time ago. I don't seven remember. Years I, I bar barely remember him. So seven years ago, yeah, you you were a lot younger. When I was watching, I'm a cutie pie, and he was rank one. Me and my friends were like, bro, this guy's the funniest guy. Oh my god. Like and then all of a sudden when You he thought like, he was funny? I, I swear Cutie Pie had some organic humor. I, I like saw I, I saw some clips on him where he outplayed people or whatever. I watched like highlight videos where he was like best of ADC outplays. But I did never thought he was a funny type. For me always no, Tyler. The thing. For me, Tyler when was the funny guy. One, he was funny just organically. Okay. That's just how it is. People are like that. Humans are like that. When I was a kid, like, I liked Tyler so much. I liked the old Tyler one so much. I think that was the funniest. Some people could be funny without being like one. I'm not saying you can't be, but all I'm saying is you just, your personality shows a bit more for some reason. All right, cool. I or at least that's how it comes across, honestly. Re remember when Tyler did, did those cooking streams after he got banned on League, like indefinitely? Remember those cooking streams yeah, he yeah, did? Yeah, yeah. that? Those H1Z1 streams, those streams, those old school no, streams with stream. Greek. Yeah. Oh my god, that was the best time on League Twitch. That was the best League of Legends streams, I think, in the history of. Well, it this. wasn't even League of Legends. It but, was he, like he, but he was from League of Legends. Yeah, yeah, he, he was. He all, Tyler one, all, all Tyler 1 viewers were League players. And like, that never happened before where a League content creator popped off so much with a League community. Yeah. His, because his. He did years of variety content, and when he went back to League, it went even higher. Yeah. So those people that supported him through the variety were League players. It was League players that watched him play H1Z1. It was League players that watched him play Overwatch. Mm -hmm. It was League players that watched him play God of War. And like these IRL streams and these cooking streams. It was League players that did that. And I, and I understand it, because they were funny fucking streams. Yeah. Funny. He was an anomaly. He's like, yeah, he was now he's more chill. I don't understand how hard it is to do that. He was he's super chill now and he's if he wanted to, he could average like a hundred K as well. Again, if Maybe. he wanted if he really went hard again like he used to. Yeah. Because those streams back then were one of one. One of one. Right now he just sits on like twenty K plus, no? Yeah, but he, he does was... nothing. He just sits there and plays league. Chills and plays league. Yeah, 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 plays league and calls Zola Bark and Inter or something. You know, it's just chill. Yeah. He doesn't really do anything, which is fine because we don't do anything, but you know what I mean. Yeah. 
if he tried yeah, again, if he tried, he has the capacity to, yeah. if he wants to. Yeah. The thing is, for most streamers, and it's not just League, if it's, it's chess streamers, it's whatever Valorant streamers, once they um, like move away from their game, they start playing variety, it's so hard to retain viewers. And Tyler One was such a big exception because not only did he retain, he gained viewers. He gained a yeah. lot. He did new games, Bro. it went up. He did horror games, it went up. He played that this is game. Insane. It's, uh, yeah, that was insane. That was crazy. I think that was the best we've ever had so far. I'm not. I'm not even being a like. I'm no, not no, even, no, that I'm not being a dick right. If uh, most of our viewers are young, so they actually don't even remember this. But if you're like like 20 or 18 or 19 and a bit of my and Isa's age, the Tyler One run from 2016 to 2018. Or something like something that. Like that. Yeah, I don't know when he got unbanned. I think he, he got not unbanned in 2019. But that yeah. run he had when he got banned in 2015, 16, up until he got unbanned in 2019 or whatever it was, that run was one of one. It was not comparable to anything we've had so in like in the past. But yeah, <laughs> crazy shit, bro. Streaming, right, man. It's, it, it's a whole different world, you know. Streaming is. Speaking it, of streaming, now you. It's a one of one. We are, are on one hour 40, man. We are on one hour 40. Sounds good. Sounds good, man. You want to wrap it up? Uh, let's wrap it up. I think we will save some topics for the future. Maybe we discuss streaming more in depth. Where Maybe did we, Isa go? We, I we, only we see Harry streaming. Potter. Huh? You look like Harry Potter. Where did Isa go? You look like the Arabic Harry Potter parody version. I swear to God. Why do I keep getting called Harry Potter, though? Look at those glasses, man. Jesus Christ. Are they the same Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. Avada Kedavra. Yo, shit! You're trying to kill me! <laughs> Nia? Well, guys. Next time, we maybe get a guest. Next time, we go maybe with the guest. We discuss why they start streaming, we, why we start streaming. We are streaming. looking to get a guest on the podcast. Guys, type below which guest you want to see. We already have a list of people that we do want to go down in the future. But just tell me in the comments what guest do you really want to see on the podcast. Preferably a streamer because that's only the people we know. And yeah, don't just say right a league streamer too, so we can actually like get like, them on. Yeah, right. You know, you don't want to go too crazy. Don't say yeah, like. Yeah, if you just yeah. If you say Piers Morgan, I'm gonna say you, you know, <laughs> go fuck yourself. You know, if you tell me, you know, <laughs> that makes no sense. So, yeah, type uh, which guest you would like to see, and maybe with a little bit of luck, it's gonna happen now, next week, or in the future. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, make sure to follow uh, Spearshot, aka Isa. Follow me on Twitch. We're going to be live pretty much almost every day. I mean, I've been feeling really yes, bad because I dropped from Grandmaster. I'm pretty depressed right now. I'm still down LP, so for me, streaming you is hard. It, nah, you I, got, it, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's fine. Um, yeah, uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on YouTube, on our channels, at Spearshot, at Nile with two A's. Uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For future podcasts, don't forget every Sunday, new episode. Today is Saturday. This will be uploaded tomorrow. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment, share. Show it to your friends. Love you guys. I'll Bye. see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.